Hey everyone, welcome back to another um, low quality math video. So I'm just going to run you through the activity that we were going to do yesterday. So you can do it on your own and then our math lesson will start with discussing it and what you realized or found. So in your module, if you go to page 32, this page, 32, um, you'll see these problems. And what we're doing today is we're just exploring another way to see and think about volume. Remember volume, look up on the poster, remind yourself of what the word looks like, what it means. And these things here, these weird drawings, are what they call nets. It's almost like you take these 3D figures we've been building and you flatten it. And these are actually a really cool way to look at volume a different way. So what you're going to need to do this activity is you're gonna need some centimeter grid paper. Now there is blank paper on the counter like this, or you can grab one that I've pre-drawn for you. Some students helped me yesterday, thank you guys. So choose one of the two. And what you'll notice is for number 1A, it just asks you to make that net, like we did here, and to cut it out. So you cut it out, and you'll get this. It's just like a cooking show where I have things pre-prepared. So here is my cut net, and this is the fun part. You're using this net, it's like a blueprint for a box, okay? Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to fold it. The colored part is the base. That's why they colored a part on the drawing. And you fold it. Fold it like this. So if you want, this is a good chance to pause the video. Do it yourself and then come back. Or you can just watch me till I'm done and then do it yourself. You choose. So anyway, you fold each of the, sorry, I wasn't showing you, each of the kind of walls or the faces as we talked about, and you get this thing that's starting to look like a box, right? Now, what we need to do to make it the box we want it to be, that it dreams to be, is you're going to get a little tape, and you are going to just simply tape The edges. This is kind of a pain in the left foot, but just take your time, keep your cool, you can do it. See, so keep going. Again, this might be a great time now that you see what I'm doing to pause the video and do this yourself. These videos are great because you can go at your own pace. If you're like, hey, Mr. Lambert, you fold so slowly, fold like my grandpa. Well, go faster than me. Pause the video, do it, and then fast forward a bit. You go slower than me, pause the video, okay? So anyway, here I am. I have this puppy almost put together. One more piece of tape. And what you're going to see is this. You have this box. Right? Um, we kept the top open for a reason. Now, as I said, we're going to explore volume with this. And if you look at the poster, hey, let's go just take a quick little look. Um, let me flip us here. If you look at the poster up here, we remember that volume are the amount of cubic units that fit into something. Okay, so if we come back to our little baby box here, right, and this little mini guy, we could put like a German or something. Anyway, if we look at this, we want to think of the volume. So one way to do that, if volume is how many cubic units fit in, we fill the sucker up, okay? You just see how many cubes can you fit in there perfectly and snugly? So I'm just putting them in the 
putting them in the box. See? Just like little, they're just nesting in there. Sorry, this is kind of hard to do. Right now I have one layer and looks like there's room for another layer. So just put them in. I'll hold it up in a second. And what I find is boom, I've filled it up. And now I'll let you count it, but the amount of cubes that I have put in here is its volume. Because volume is what fits into a 3D shape or container. It's what is held by something. It's the 3D space that is taken up. So we use these nets as a way to show you that when we are calculating volume, we really are finding cubic units. We have found a way, mathematicians have found a way to calculate literally how many cubes of whatever unit would fit in. And that's why whatever unit we have, we either write cubic centimeters or centimeters cubed like this. That is the reason behind these notations. So this is what you're going to do. You've got page 32 here. You're going to cut these nets for these and try to answer the volume questions. And then you have a few other ones where you don't actually have to cut out the nets anymore. Once you've done it a few times, you're able to answer them on your own. So you're going to do 32, 33, 34 is an exit ticket. Um, and yeah, you could probably even do 35. You can cut them out or not cut them out. That's up to you. And I want to have a conversation about what we learned. So do 32 through 34, 35 if you're feeling, feeling rosy. And then I want you to pause the video while you do that. And when you're done with those, I have a challenge for you. So pause this video. And then when you're done with the pages, done with the work, if there's still time, I'm, you can see the challenge. If you don't get to it today, you can do it Monday. Okay? All right. Good working. When you unpause, I'll have the challenge for you.